Hey, what's up, YouTubers? No Grip's got a short little video for you here today. Got a little issue with the uh, with the old Explorer here, and uh, the issue is the tire keeps going flat, and uh, there there are no plugs in it. There's no holes in it. There's nothing. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to check a. Uh, valve stem and Schrader valve to see if it's leaking. So what I want to do first is uh, I want to back this car up so I can put the valve stem pointing straight down or pointing straight up. So let's go. Uh, let's get the keys to this old raggedy thing, and uh, I'll be right back. Hey Roscoe, what's that, Roscoe? Let's, uh, let's back this car up a little bit. The old Exploder, Explorer, whatever you want to call it. Let's get in here and let's get this thing. Let's get this thing bagged up. And we want to back it up until the... Is that it? Eh, I got a little more guy. And back up a little more. Right about there should get it. Okay. Let's see if that's gonna get it. Perfect. So what you want to do is get you some soapy water. That's not wax. I'm just using an old container. Because I couldn't find a container nowhere around here, so I'd use an old wax bottle. And what you want to do is, you just want to spray a little bit of soapy water on there. And you see how it's bubbling up? Yeah. See, so that right there tells me that the valve is leaking. Now, there's two ways we can go about fixing this. The first way is, see if we can just tighten it up. That doesn't fix it. The second way is, is to remove the Schrader valve from the valve stem itself and put a new one in there. Well, I'm gonna try number one method first cause I'm cheap. So what we gotta do is we gotta get a Schrader valve tool, okay? And you can get these at Walmart, Harbor Freight, anywhere. Any place that sells motor oil for the most part. So, and it's this thing right here. It's that cool looking tool right there. This is actually a multi purpose tool, but you can use that end right there to tighten and loosen your Schrader valve. Okay. If that fails, I have some new Schrader valves right here. And. That's a new one, nice and shiny. So we're just gonna keep that there for right now. And we are going to attempt to tighten this one up and see if it leaks. Maybe it just needs to be tightened. I don't know, but we'll see. All right. Just take the tool and stick it in the middle. And we're going to simply give it a good, good tightening. And you can see the whole valve stem's turning, but it's tight now. So once we get it tight, we're gonna see if it leaks again. Give me some good soapy water going. And look at that, what do you know? There's no more, there's no more leaks, like nothing. Check it out. No bubbles, that's a good thing. How about that? All we did was just tighten it up. And now the tire will no longer leak air. So that that's how you do it. You just tighten, give it a little tightening up and uh, make sure it's tight, which I know it's tight. And the car sits in the garage 
most of the time. So I'll be able to tell if the thing starts to leak in. But that is all you have to do to fix a leaky Schroeder valve. So if you can't keep air in your tires, for some reason your tire keeps on losing, losing air and uh, you don't either have time to take it to a tire shop or you don't want to pay a tire shop or whatever, just go to Walmart and get you one of these little tools and spray some soapy water on it and see if it leaks. And if it bubbles or leaks, chances are you need to do just tighten it up. Let's see if that one's looking. I also have a little problem with this, this side too. Uh, let's go here and tighten it back up. That one's tight. And there you have it. That's all it is to it. Cheap little tool like this. Everybody should have one. Anybody who owns a car, truck, four-wheeler, motorcycle, whatever, should have one of these in your emergency uh, first aid kit. Anyway, I'm No Grip, and as always, if you like my videos, um, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, so it lets YouTube know I'm doing a great job, and hopefully you can get my videos out to other potential viewers. Anyway, y'all have a good one. Peace.